Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the thing. The thing! The Tornado! Dragon Quest IV, Tornado Edition. Dragon Quest IV, Chapters of the Chosen. I'm your host, Saigon. Boy, I stumbled over that, didn't I? It's been a weird morning. Totally weird morning. And... What are we doing today? We are going... And we are going to go hire Laurel and Hardy, and we are going to do the Sister in Chapel. That's right. I remember what's what. I remember what's up. Because we need that money. Got to get that money. Acquire that currency. That GP. Alright, so, Laurel and Hardy, Laurel and Hardy, Laurel and Hardy, where are they? Alright, I know one of them is up over here. Hey, brother! I could. Alright, five days for 400 gold? That is fantastic, sir. Hardy has joined Torneco. Now, these guys work like, um, Healy, in that they're just AI-controlled. <clears throat> Which is fine, it serves our purpose well enough. We don't need them for any kind of intelligent battling, just to add some weight to the party. Where is the other one? Where is he? Where is he? I can't get in there. Is he in the pub? at the inn. Okay. So, probably upstairs. Uh, there he is. Oi! Ahoy there, Laurel. I'm an itinerant poet, but, well, you wouldn't know it. There's not much money in it, so I've been studying magic as well. My services are for hire, if you so desire. 600 gold coins for five days. Come along. You'll hire me? Splendid. As long as you don't fire me. You're not, you're not a terrible poet. I mean, you've got, you've got some rhymes. You have that going for you. Don't give up on your dreams. <laughs> How do I get out? <laughs> Alright, that's the tunnel. This up here should be the Cistern Chapel. Yeah, these stupid splatty punks gotta go. Killed me last time. That is not okay. Alright, <clears throat> now I totally don't recall this place. <sighs> I think there's water puzzles in here? I'm not sure. There's a raft. We could take the raft, I guess. Oh, we'll go this way first. Yep, no we won't. <laughs> Hope everybody's having a lovely day. A lovely week. Hell, even a month or a year. Guess we're going down further. Fly guys! Really nice backgrounds in this game. <clears throat> Especially for the DS. It looks so similar to, like, Dragon Quest VII. Ba -da -dun 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 -dun.
Hmm, that chest up there. I have a feeling that we're going to need to uh, flood this area. <clears throat> what have you got to say there, Gov? Now, just what the devil is up with this cave? It is making a right amount of me. A right amada me. Amada out of me? I have no idea what you're saying, man. I can't make away with the treasure. Well, have you tried adjusting the water levels, sir? That's ah, a metal slime. Get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Things appear. Things are confused. Lugworm, you must die. You failed me too many times in the monster arena. Why, Laurel? Oh, because you can paralyze. That's why. So I'm recording this on the 15th of September. So only a couple of weeks prior to uh, when it comes out, because I started doing the uh, three videos a week for DQ4. Experimenting with different ways that I can um, release the videos. Um, Pokemon Go was recently announced. That looks great. I actually, I rode my bike today. To uh, <laughs> try and, uh, you know, get into traveling shape. Because I expect I'm going to be spending a lot more time outside when Pokemon Go comes out. Would you guys like to see videos on Pokemon Go? If you want to see videos on Pokemon Go, I'm sure I can figure something out. Maybe grab a GoPro? Like, I don't, I don't know, like, how hardcore do you guys want me to get into Pokemon Go? Let me know, because I'm probably going to be playing it anyways. No, I know I'll be playing it. Because I've been playing Ingress <clears throat> in my spare time. Mostly it just gives me something to do on my walks at work. Oh wait, what am I doing? Go down here, grab that treasure. Hefty amount of gold. We got some iron armor to sell. We got another steel broadsword that we're going to be, uh... We're going to hold on to that. Because <clears throat> we do need quite a collection of them. For later on in this chapter. But oh my gosh, Pokemon Go just has me so excited. I Ingress is a very solid game. I've seen a couple of ag augmented reality games, and Ingress so far has been the best and most interesting, uh, mostly because of like, the way that the community works. Like, it's amusing, and you know, if you want kind of an idea of how some parts of Pokemon Go might work, check it out. Niantic Inc., the uh, the company behind Ingress, is one of the companies working with Game Freak and Nintendo to create Pokemon Go. I cannot get past you. Um, <clears throat> so I totally expect that it's going to be a quality game. <coughs> I am so sorry. stupid allergies like at the uh, at the end of winter and the end of summer are when allergies start kicking in for me and I hate it I hate it so much
Oh, I'm just glad I'm not sick anymore. <clears throat> a holy lance! I don't think that's better than what we already have. Oh, we can't even equip it anyways. Let's... Alright, let's organize items. Um, We could probably use some medicinal herbs going out. We got plenty. We got plenty. You get a medicinal herb, and you get a medicinal herb. Everybody gets a medicinal herb. I am Dragon Quest Oprah. That goes back up. This goes down? Ah, yes. Yes, yes. Very good. I like this dungeon. It's short and sweet. It's got a, uh, a nice little puzzle in it. It's good. It's good design. Speaking of good design, Mario Maker is also out now. <clears throat> I picked that up, and we've been playing it as a family here. And I, I don't know if this is still true by the time that the video comes out, but I've been kind of disappointed with the levels that the community has been making. Not due to lack of impressiveness of the levels, but the uh, don't touch the controller levels. Well, that's that's a lot. That's not a game. That's a non-game. Is it an impressive feat of design? Absolutely. It is an amazing showcase of what the game is capable of and what the creators are capable of. It is not good level design, though. If it's not something that you can play, then it's not good level design. And if it's just a mess of a level that is designed to do nothing other than kill you, rather than challenge you, then that is not good design either. I'm not talking about the Super Meat Boy levels, which, you know, are just insane platforming goodness. I'm talking about the levels that are just like monsters all over this screen. And not in any kind of pattern either, because then it'd be more like Bullet Hell, which is fine, because there are patterns in Bullet Hell, and that's what makes Bullet Hell good. I'm just talking about the people who make the, the crazy levels with the absurd jumps and platforming requirements and have way too many enemies on screen, and it, honestly, it feels like a mess rather than a creation. Having said that, there, so, uh, there are a couple of really good levels. There was a, uh, there was a Luigi's Mansion level that was all 8-bit, and it was, it was just a very solidly designed ghost house uh, for the 1985-type Mario. It was good stuff. A ton of water was pouring in on me head just now. I nearly drowned, so I did. But there's a silver line and like, now I can at least get at me treasure. I'll be making tracks then. How am I supposed to get out of here now? Yeah, also I'm taking your treasure. Oh, no, I guess I'm not. Wait. You probably got this one too? Dicks. Alright, it's fine. You don't have a raft. So I win. There we go. There we go. This is what we're after. The Silver Goddess Statue. We'll just leave that guy here. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Get out of here. We'll figure this out. And I woke him up. No? Didn't wake him up? See, now the Elipus would be dead if you guys had just attacked the Elipus instead and put the fly guy to sleep. Whatever. 
Be nice if the NPCs, like, gave you some indication of what they were going to be doing. Based on what your decisions were going to be. I know that they'll change it mid-fight for, like, you know, focus on healing, but... I feel that that other fight could have gone better, you know? I'm grouchy today. I don't know why, either. I don't know where it's coming from. Probably because it's Tuesday and I have to go back to work tomorrow. That'll make anybody grouchy. Party? Thank you, sir. Get that iron armor. All right. <clears throat> now, I think we can just sell this to anybody, and it's worth a ton. Really, cannot be sold. Well, that's curious. Oh, all right, all right, all right. It's good. Uh, up, up here. Up here, this guy will buy it. Derp derp. Can it really be the Silver Goddess statue? I'll pay 20. No, 25,000 gold coins for it. Well then, will you sell it to me? Yes, I will. Take that. Get that out of my inventory. All right. We have a sweet, sweet load of cash. It is still not remotely enough to buy our own shop. But you know what it is? enough for. It's just about enough to get that tunnel finished, which I think was 30,000 gold. We're so close. We're going to go sell um, all that iron armor that we've been picking up back in Ballymoral. And then we're going to head back down and get that tunnel funded. I I am um I'm I'm seeing the appreciate I would there we are at thirty thousand. <laughs> no we aren't. I I'm I understand the appreciation for Tornico's chapter, looking at it a little bit more critically right now. Um because none of the other characters would be able to do this. None of the other characters would be able to amass this kind of gold. This is this is the role of the adventuring merchant in this series. And I think that they definitely did it pretty well with Tornaco. They could probably have done more with the whole shopkeeping aspect. But uh, he's he's also a businessman. He's not just a shopkeeper. Is what I think I'm getting at. Oi. I would. I have so much iron armor. Oh, he seems to have a uh, kind of randomized range for how much he'll give you for it. Do I have any more? I do. I've seen him go, like, as low as 1,200, and now I've seen him go up as high as... What was that before? Like, 1,700? Uh, it, it was a pretty good amount. All right. <clears throat> we got that money. Go finish funding the tunnel. And then we'll probably call it a day for this episode. Oh, hey, random merchant. Don't don't be selling anything too good. Oh, you're here to let me rest. Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, balls. What was it we needed money for? Was it for the shop? 
Oh, I had it flipped. I had it flipped. We're gonna be buying the shop now. We're buying the shop. Which is totally exciting. But we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait, okay? You know why? Because I'm gonna try going, getting the cautery sword thing done again. I'm not gonna record it because it's super boring. And it's just me sitting at a shop all day saying, Boy, I sure wish somebody would sell me a cautery sword. Anyhow, we're going to sign off here. Thanks for watching, everybody. When we come back next time, we are going to start the Torneco Taloon Family Store. That's what we're naming it. He doesn't have a say in this matter. I'm your host, Saigon. If you're enjoying the videos, please hit like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Take care, everyone.